In Delaware, like the rest of the Northeast, the biggest drug threats are from heroin and cocaine. In 2004, nearly 1% of the Delaware population was admitted into treatment for alcohol or drug dependence. Heroin is the top single drug implicated in treatment. Heroin dealers looking for business are known to give away free samples, but these samples sometimes contain fentanyl, an opiate-like painkiller 50 to 100 times more powerful than heroin. Fentanyl has been blamed for more than 970 overdose deaths, with Delaware suffering among other states. The drug situation in Delaware is further aggravated by the fact that some drug dealers, wanting less law enforcement, higher profits, and new customers, are relocating with their drug supplies from Philadelphia or New York to Wilmington. Prescription drug abuse is also a problem, especially among the young. Currently, nearly 9% of Delaware youth abuse prescription drugs each year. There are reports of high school students in Delaware becoming dependent on prescription painkillers, then switching to heroin because it's cheaper and more available. The right time to get help for those abusing or addicted to drugs or alcohol is right now. The next time the addicted person uses meth, heroin, cocaine, alcohol, or any other drug could bring disaster or incarceration. When looking for an effective drug rehab program, Determine if the program in question has a treatment system that effectively eliminates the three basic barriers to successful recovery. They are cravings, depression, and guilt that are suffered by every addicted person. When an addict can leave guilt, cravings, and depression behind, then they can build the skills to make drug-free choices. And when real recovery is attainable, Delaware builds a better future for all its citizens. So get help now. For NNTV Drug Rehab News, this is Tim Gozanski.